Hi, I'm Jackie Stapleton and welcome to Atoll TV. In this video, I'm going to cover clause 7.4, communication. I'm going to break this clause down and turn it into something you can all understand and implement into your own organization or industry. Okay, let's get started. Let's take a look at what clause 7.4 wants us to do. This clause states that the organization shall determine the internal and external communications relevant to the quality management system, including A, on what it will communicate, B, when to communicate, C, with whom to communicate, D, how to communicate, E, who communicates. Sorry folks, that's it. No further information whatsoever. So it's what, when, with whom, how, and who communicates internally and externally. Now, I'll let you in on a little trick here. If you follow the process for understanding the needs and expectations of your interested parties, which is clause 4.2, so be sure to check that video out, you should have a pretty good idea on what you will communicate when and with whom. For example, you may have identified a supplier as an interested party that requires, that's your needs and expectations, a monthly report, which is the when, sent through to the product manager, which is with whom, on the number of sales you have made of the product they supply to you, which is the what. Now, all you have to figure out is how you will communicate this. So that would be the report and more than likely by email and who is responsible in your organization for sending this monthly report to the supplier. It's honestly as simple as that. There is no requirement in this clause to document any of this. However, if a documented process prevents this communication from being forgotten, then it may be beneficial. It's completely up to you or the organization whether there is a need for these communication processes to be documented. It could be as simple as a task reminder. Now that I've explained these requirements, can you see more clearly how you could action and demonstrate these requirements in your own management system? Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Auditor Training Online is a recognized training provider and we know how it works in the real world. So we are confident that we can help you to make a change in your life and join the most sought after profession out there. Go to our website and enroll in our training to transform your work and industry experience into a recognized qualification and career. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Atoll TV and leave a comment or question as I truly do want to help you to join the best career out there with me.